gentlemen, we're back with more Steelers <laughs> talk, and this time we're talking about defense. Defense. The Best Steelers the team? have been rumored to be shopping, t- or not shopping, looking to sign Tyron Matthew. The Honey Badger. I, I the very, Honey Badger. I'd be very excited about There that. are a lot of talks, rumors on the internet right now saying that he and the Steelers have been in talks. The Iron City Beer Badger. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and people in Pittsburgh are excited because if it was the Honey Badger and Minka back there, that changes a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They need it. That's huge. The division that they could be going up against with Joe Burrow, potentially Deshaun Watson, mm-hmm. even Lamar Jackson. And another talk that's not so much talked about but is a talk is the Steelers would also be interested in signing Stephon Gilmore. Mm. So it looks like they might be targeting the defense a little bit more. I mean... So one thing I'm like really curious about because the Steelers should have already re- assigned Akilah Witherspoon and the fact that they didn't is probably due to the fact that they're in talk with these guys, probably specifically Stephon Gilmore because those two are at the same position. Yeah, right. That's pretty exciting. I Man, I can't imagine them doing that right now we, in like a little bit of a rebuild that's but, kind of what I thought too. but i mean well the steelers are never that's the steelers problem they never rebuild they always just patch things up and band-aid things yeah as they go along so like it could make sense like they're definitely playing to win it yeah. seems like or I they mean, think they're playing to win they did sign mitch so i mean they kind of have a spot <clears throat> for quarterback there uh, well then there's other talks the bobby wagner's still in the market yeah. And the Steelers have been an option for that. There's not nothing has came out where if he said he wanted to go towards them or the Steelers saying anything about him, but he is on the op- market still. The Steelers still. haven't signed like free agency or like any big names. Like there are some decent cornerbacks that was in free agency, and we. That's why. Pricey. That's why. That's they are. They pricey. have the yeah, money. What J.C. Jackson got. Granted, right. he's one of the best in yeah. the league, but. Yeah, that's the thing. Now they finally have the money. The Steelers have always been up against the cap for as long as I can remember, yeah. especially Ben's contract mm-hmm. and all yep. these guys that want to get paid. Yeah. But it's just crazy. I get that you want to kind of make the, the powerhouse defense, but like the defense in my opinion is already good. Yeah. I feel like they're oh, man. I feel like I they safety? To target the I don't know. offense. Last a little bit. year I know we had injuries, but our defense was not the defense. Well, I feel like a lot of that was stopping the run. Yeah. Yeah, well it was. And we finished in like last. I'm and that's sure. because there were there were injuries with and Stephon to it, yeah. and yeah. somebody else went down and got hurt. And his, and Alu Alu, he got yeah. hurt, and he's really good at clog in the middle. Yeah. So whenever those two went out, I mean, it the, the floodgates oh. really did open with that. I totally forgot the massive key part about all this. A Steelers like fan page, a po- they posted a picture of Minka and the Honey Badger in a post, and they said Steelers like sign them, blah blah blah, blah. and. Tyron Matthew himself liked that post. Oh, well, where, when were you going to tell us this, DJ? I don't know why it came out of my head, but it came <laughs> back in. But, yeah, they, there was a post. It was, like, signed Tyron Matthew, or it was, like, one of those fake, like, breaking news. Tyron Matthew's been signed to the Steelers, and Tyron Matthew did like hey, the dude, post. Dude, you know what happened last time a player wanted to come to the Steelers that was high caliber? What happened? The Steelers said, no, nah, we're good. We're going to take Mitch Trubisky instead. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we don't got to give up freaking three first-round picks for... That's the thing. Bad, That's the thing. Right? He, my goodness. We have the money... They haven't signed any I huge it's names. Pain, it's, right okay, it's so pain. it's exciting, but don't they have way more needs than safety? That's I would I rather saying. them mm. get Gilmore. I would rather them get Wagner. Yeah. Even but though Tyron might be better than both of those. Well, two, I mean, I, I feel like in my in my personal I opinion, agree. I feel like Tyron Matthew is the best safety in the league. And I can't argue. That. Yeah, I definitely okay. think he's top three. I, I think he, I think he's, he's top three. three. Best of the position. Don't need, then again, our corners aren't the best. That would be a Minka. Big help. I mean, Tyron Matthew, T.J. Watt, Cameron Hayward. I mean, our defense would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They, no, it definitely right. would be. Man, and they and imagine the, they had B- Bobby Wagner to that. Yeah. I mean, they'd have an old veteran yeah. defense at that That's point. Thing. But like, like veterans, Hayward have probably time. only has a year, maybe two max left of. I know, but for next season though. Well, that, that's kind of what you got to think about, right? I, I so if the Steelers are signed, say the Steelers sign Gilmore, yeah. they sign Bobby Wagner. Now you have them paired with Cam Hayward, paired with Joe Hayden. These guys are old. So, like, you're signing them in hopes to win the Super Bowl within the next two years. If yeah. not, then what's the point of even signing them? Yeah. Right. That's And you don't, in, in my opinion, they don't have the quarterback to do that. They don't. Mm. So, it, it kind of contradicts <laughs> a little bit, unless if yeah. they have, like, a ton of confidence in Mitch, which if they do, shame on them. But... I mean, it, it is exciting. I mean, if one of those guys come here, like, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't, like, extremely hyped about it. So it's like the Ravens just got Marcus Williams. Chiefs got Justin Reed. Saints got Marcus May. All these teams are signing safeties. So it only there's only a few other teams that really could sign them. 
the Eagles are another option. A lot of people are wanting him to go to Philadelphia, but mm-hmm. the Steelers are one of those teams. So he will is a free agent right now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the, the mm-hmm. Chiefs officially let him go, and yeah. or will they not got, so he's got They got Justin Reed. Moment now. He can't be out there this long. Unless if he's waiting around to get the deal that he right. wants. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, because yeah, he – he has offers. Yeah, he's I'm a veteran. Sure. He's been a, he's been along for a while. He could take a pay cut somewhere to try to win another Super Bowl. I don't. I or mean, he could just maybe be waiting for the I biggest offer that he gets. I think he's looking for the biggest offer because he yeah, has his Super exactly. Bowl. That's why he's I also mean, been of paid wanna, before yeah. too. But yeah, I mean, I mean like true. at the end of the day, you know, you rather have, have that guaranteed money, <laughs> money than yeah. a shot at a Super Bowl, yeah. which you might not even get. And exactly. he are, he does already mm-hmm. have yeah. a Super Bowl. Yeah, but I think it's feasible. I think it it's is. I think I it's a possibility I would be really and it's exciting. Come to Pittsburgh. So Do let me ask you guys: out of those three, Wagner, Gilmore, Tyran, you could pick one to come to the Steelers. Who would it be? I would probably pick Tyran just because he's younger. I mean, Wag- they're, Wagner's old, Gilmore's older. I don't see us winning a Super I guess Bowl that way in the next two sense. years. Just yeah. trying to think where we need the most help. When would probably be what uh, middle line. Bobby. Bobby. Say it's Joe Schobert fell off, and Devin Bush stinks. Yeah. The but position alone, it would be Bobby Wagner would be yeah. the smartest. But, I mean, I think Tyron is obviously a far better talent right. at his age. Yeah. Long-term, Bobby Wagner yeah. would be the worst pick. Stephon Gilmore would be a good pick because, I mean, I don't know how much longer he's going to last than Joe Hayden. That's what I'm worried I, about. I, all I keep looking at for the Pittsburgh Steelers, once Joe Hayden is gone, the Steelers are going to be in a lot of trouble. We can't well, draft cornerbacks. Well, here's the thing. No. We, no. I feel like he'll be good for at least this season. And then next season, you know, there's a whole new free agency, a whole new draft class. And I feel like... He's fine right now. Don't worry about it. But in the next season, hey, worry about it. That's why I wanted us to get J.C. Jackson. He's been, we, we can't. We can't. I can't even tell you the last time we drafted a good cornerback. Yeah, Ike Taylor. Couldn't catch. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't coverage. Couldn't catch. Had a pass interference call like every game. But I mean, yeah, that's why I kind of wanted us to get him or somebody decent in free agency, but we didn't. I just don't know if now's the time for them to be making the big moves. I think You're they right. wait until they get that quarterback. Like right now, I feel like what they're doing, they're, they got three offensive linemen. Mm-hmm. And I think it was Which James Daniels from the Bears smart. is actually a really good offensive line. That's lineman. a good one. I know. The other two are kind of like plug-in options. Or no, they re-signed. Um, I forget who it was. But they got somebody tackle. from the Vikings who I don't know who he is. But. Didn't they re-sign a guard, I think? They're definitely Maybe. doing moves on the offensive line. James Daniels was the big. But they like pick gave up. that one cornerback a freaking like two year extension. I told you about. I forget what the heck his name is. Number thirty five, who was god awful last year, like terrible. I feel like that shows that they're a little desperate at that position. They always are. Thin. They always are. But hey. We'll find out what happens. Stay tuned. Uh, Tyron Matthew to the Steelers. Let us know what you know, what you think down in the comments, <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.